We went quite viral recently on TikTok for videos about BlackRock. Mm. What is BlackRock and how do they own everything? Yeah, so BlackRock is an organization, it's a company publicly listed on NASDAQ that has tens of trillions of dollars of assets under management. They disclose that they have like 14 trillion, but that is only BlackRock. Then they own majority share in most of the companies in America, right? So they also have money and funneled through all those things as well. So what companies? They own Pfizer, they own Moderna, they own uh, all the airlines, they own all the social networks. So when you see all this stuff, all this agenda kind of everybody working together, then you have to realize who actually owns it. This isn't a conspiracy. You go to Yahoo Finance, you go to top holders of all these shareholding companies, and you see BlackRock and Vanguard at the top. So you go to Amazon, for example, you go to Yahoo Finance, you go to Amazon, you go to the ticker of the stock, you go to top holders, and you realize Jeff Bezos ain't, ain't the biggest holder of Amazon. It's like, oh shit, he's no longer the majority shareholder of his company, so he doesn't make the final decisions, so he doesn't have the big say. The CEO of the of Bank Santander yeah. uh, was sitting at a round table at the FII conference, and uh, they were talking about what is the problem with the current system? <laughs> and I think this was like a Freudian slip. She, she kind of slipped. I didn't think she intended to say this. She said, the big problem is that we have to make our investors and our shareholders happy like him. We have to make Larry Fink happy, which was sitting right next to her, which was the owner of BlackRock. And she's like, we need to make him happy. As you run these companies and these organizations publicly listed, you need to understand that people with money, they can come in and swoop your shit. BlackRock is one of those organizations. I made a video about it. It did quite well on the internet. And it's nothing new, right? It's not the only organization that kind of runs the game. You can talk about that segment and that department of kind of like the publicly traded companies. But now, which is the crazy part, dude, is BlackRock is starting to get into the Chinese market. So they're starting to branch out their tentacles outside of the North American market. It's quite scary. So, I mean, I think uh, autonomy, sovereignty is kind of the most important thing that people should be focused on, which is how can I make enough to be self-reliant and not have to depend on the system, depend on greedy people, depend on these psychopath motherfuckers that are out here to literally take everything that you're worth with no remorse whatsoever because, hey, it's just business. That's how they see it. <laughs> people have been conquering lands, dude, for the longest time. You know, you see, you see Genghis Khan, you see Alexander the Great, you see Julius Caesar. Dude, these were ruthless motherfuckers. These were killers. That's why they won. That's why they took over the game. So if you think that at the highest echelons of business, these guys aren't the same way, then you don't get the game.